Hello, everybody. Whoa, I just made y'all seasick, didn't I? <laughs> it's Wendy, and today I wanted to show you some interesting things I got in a um, used bunch of jewelry off of Facebook Marketplace. So I was home this past week, and I saw on Facebook Marketplace this lady had advertised this tackle box. It was like a double-sided tackle box full of jewelry making supplies for $20. And I was like, oh my gosh, where is that? Well, it was in Sanford. Oops, I just made a bunch of noise. It was in Sanford, which is just about um, an hour, well, 45 minutes to an hour um, north of Fayetteville. So I knew I would be driving through there on my way back home, and I thought I could stop and, you know, pick this up. And so she left it out on the front porch for me, <laughs> and I just stuck the money under the floor mat. But I wanted to show you some of the things that were in this box because I think... Some of this stuff is older stuff, and it was really interesting. I found a lot of really interesting things in there. A lot of it I can't use, but a lot of it I can. So I just wanted to show you guys because there was some really cool stuff. So I will um, start with these. It, there were a lot of Lamport glass beads in there. And these I thought were so cute. I just like to find different things, you know. And this lady had a ton. Of, I got a great deal for $20. Let me say that. So look at these, they're little candy, little wrapped candies, Lamport glass. I have never seen these before and I thought those were the cutest things, look at that. So those were in there and that was one of the very interesting things that I found. And then, the one, one of the reasons that I thought this was kind of old is because there was a strand in there of these blue moon beads but they're from Walmart. And I know that Walmart has not carried blue moon beads in a long time because since I've been beading, they've not. But these are like a crackled glass bicone. And they're really pretty. There were those. And then there were these crackled glass bicones as well, which I thought were cool. Well, these are glass. They're not um, acrylic, but really interesting. And then there was a bag of these metal beads. I'm just going to just show you some of the things that were in there. I, th I thought some of them were really cool. Um, I'm going to dump this bag out here so you can kind of see. I separated things out last night, but they're still not separated out as well as they should be. So this is like a head of a <laughs> Santa. And these are snowman heads. And these are Lamport glass. And then there were some beautiful, um, these Lamport glass focals in here. There were lots of... She had a lot of Lamport glass, which a lot of it I have in a bag here that I won't be keeping, but these I thought were beautiful, and I can definitely use them. So there were those. Um, there were these that are like a diachromatic or electroplated or something. They were really cool looking. Um, just like these little strands. These as well. And then there were these beads. So if anybody knows what these are, are these something you can peyote around? That's kind of what I thought. They're a Lamport glass. They're like a tube, and they look like they would be perfect to pay hoodie around those, but I'd never seen them before. What else was in here? Oh, these I thought were really cool. These are a Lamport glass. They're like a, I don't know. I don't even know what they are, but they're really, really cool. You can see them. They've got like these lines in them. There were a bunch of these in there. Um, and a few other Lamport glass. There were these beads, which I thought were pretty. Um, so that I will set aside. These also were kind of cool. I don't know if these aren't maybe a gemstone. They kind of look like it. There were two of them. So let me scoot these back, and then I'll show you what else. So there were a ton of these cube beads as well, and I've never seen these before either. But they're really pretty. They're Bobby Dazzled. And at first I thought they were acrylic. They're all in these little boxes, which I can't even get open. I'm like so challenged. Um, maybe she has this tape closed. Lift to open. That's not working. Okay, well there's a few that are out here in the bag. I'll show you them. But there's a ton of them. Look at the, Look at these. I've never seen Bedazzled to start with. And, and then I've never seen these little cubes because they're all lined. But they're glass. And they're just li inside lined with like a pink and some of them are purple. But I thought those were so cute. Um, there's an AB one here. If I could get the thing open, I would show you. 
but I can't. <laughs> I'll have to work on those. But anyway, these were in there, and I thought those were really neat. So, some of this stuff I think must be older stuff, because, um, like I said, I've never seen blue moon beads at Walmart since I've been beading. And then she had a ton of, like, these focals and charms, and so there were, these little charms were all in there. Here are some ribbon ends, or fold-over ribbon things. All kinds of little charms. Metal gallery focal. I mean, this bag was well, or tackle box thing was well worth $20. I was shocked when I saw everything that was in it. Look at this glass donut. All kinds of little charms and focals. Another thing that was really cool where there were two cat's eye crosses. So there's this one, and then there was a pink one. I'm not sure where it's at. But those were in there. There was a bunch of head pins. And then I wanted to show you guys these. I thought these were really cool. These are toggles. Let me find them in here. Oh, there's the pink cat's eye cross. There are these toggles in here, but they're pastel colors. I have never seen pastel colors in toggles. So here's one. Look at these. Aren't they adorable? They're teeny tiny too. And there was a blue and green. And I think there's a pink one in here. Yeah, here it is. So they had all these little pastel toggles, which I thought were awesome. So that was cool. I mean, that right there alone, all these charms and stuff are well worth $20. She really, it was a really good deal. I could kind of tell when I saw, I couldn't, obviously I couldn't see everything that was in there, but it was a double-sided tackle box. Like it opened on both sides and it was just full of stuff and it was all mixed up. I had to sort through it last night. But, um, I could tell that there were some good things in there. And then, there was all this different colors of wire, which is really awesome. So, if you can see all of those. And these, I think, are a hair pit, like hair, um, things you poke in your hair. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I think that's what those are. There was hemp cord. There was some seed beads. So, she's got some tubes of seed beads and stuff in here. But this wire, I thought, was really nice to get in all these different colors. It's very interesting. Um, let's see what else. There were a ton of polymer clay beads, which I really like. So these are all polymer clay and wooden ones. And look, there were some really pretty wooden beads in here too. Look at these. You can see they're painted. They're really pretty. And a bunch of polymer clay beads, it looks like. So that was really cool. And then I was so excited when I saw these. All kinds of flowers, like... Um, the little, these look like the little Czech bell flowers. I don't know if they're Czech or not, but, um, there were tons of these. These are like little flower bead caps. So all of these are little flowers in there. And some of them, look at that. It's a little like a bead cap. So, so cute. I was really excited to see the flowers. And then along with the flowers, oh, goodness, I hit the, I'm really, there were all these little hearts. So look at these hearts. They're so cute. This is like a little focal. But all these are little beads. Little heart beads. And I keep hearts separate. I have a container that I keep all my hearts in. Um, and then there were some leaves. Leaf beads. Then there were freshwater pearls. Look at these. There was all kinds of these freshwater pe pearls. And then there were, if I can find them real quick, I'll show you these weird ones <laughs> right here that are like long and thin. I don't know what I would do with these. Maybe I don't, I don't even see a hole in it. Yeah, there is a hole right there. But those are weird, really weird looking, but I think they're freshwater pearls. I don't know. Somebody tell me. I think they are, but they're, all that was in there. Then these are like shell pieces, I believe. They were all in there. Um, and then these are all like gemstone nuggets and stuff of all different colors. No, not the shell one. Or maybe it is. I don't know. But a bunch of these. I know some of these are carnelian. Some are jasper. Like this one looks like a jasper. Um, but yeah, tons of gemstone nuggets. Um, there were some acrylic beads. I'm looking through over here. There was a couple of Millefiori glass, which I was excited to see. A couple little Millefiori glass pieces. 
Um, and then I wanted to show you guys these because I had never seen these before. Um, I mean, I'm probably not going to keep them because I don't really, I don't know, but look at these. These are, look like they're handmade or something and they're like made out of some kind of plastic. Like they're rolled up and there's a ton of them in here. They're rolled up and they're hard, but they're like a plasticky stuff. I have no idea what it is, but I thought that was really interesting. And then there were these, and these cracked me up because these are horrible. They, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a whale, <laughs> a Lamport glass whale, but it looks an awful lot like an airplane as well. So I know it's not an airplane, but maybe it is. I don't know. There were three of them, Lamport glass whale planes. <laughs> so <laughs> those were pretty interesting as well. So I, like I said, there were just a ton of things in this, um, this box and I felt like I got a really good deal on it. There were these acrylic stars, which I probably will put with my kid beads for when I make kid things because they're sparkly with rhinestones. And there were these, which are kind of like a metal bead, but I'm telling you, a ton of stuff came in this box. So if you look on Facebook Marketplace, sometimes you can get some really, really, really good deals. Um, you know, and I just, I wanted to show you guys some of the things in this box just because they were so different. Um, you know, like the whale planes <laughs> and I don't know, those, uh, plasticky roll up beads and these right here. I think these are for peyoteing around, but just really different stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to share it with you. Um, I was going through it today and thought, oh, I need to video some of these. They're really cool. So anyway, you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.